Our story today is called The Birthmark. It was written by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Here is Barbara Klein with the story. A long time ago, there lived a skillful scientist who had experienced a spiritual reaction more striking than any chemical one. He had left his laboratory in the care of his assistant, washed the chemicals from his hands, and asked a beautiful woman to become his wife. In those days, new scientific discoveries, such as electricity, seemed to open paths into the area of miracles. It was not unusual for the love of science to compete with the love of a woman. The scientist's name was Aylmer. He had so totally given himself to scientific studies that he could not be weakened by a second love. His love for his young wife could only be the stronger of the two if it could link itself with his love of science. Such a union did take place, with truly remarkable results. But one day, very soon after their marriage, Aylmer looked at his wife with a troubled expression. Georgiana, he said, have you ever considered that the mark upon your cheek might be removed? No, she said, smiling. But seeing the seriousness of his question, she said, the mark has so often been called a charm that I was simple enough to imagine it might be so. On another face it might, answered her husband, but not on yours. No, dear, nature made you so perfectly that this small defect shocks me as being a sign of earthly imperfection. Shocks you, cried Georgiana, deeply hurt. Her face reddened, and she burst into tears. Then why did you marry me? You cannot love what shocks you. We must explain that in the center of Georgiana's left cheek there was a mark, deep in her skin.' 